Dude, why is it shaped like that, dude? It's called a pickle fork. Made for speed, and these are super rare and kind of unique. They only made them, I think, for a few short years. Dude, I've never even seen a supercharger that big in my life. They use like gold leaf, I think, on there. Dude, that is crazy. Yeah, so that is all hand painted. Guys, so real quick, there's literally only 12 days of this TRX giveaway plus $25,000 cash, which is not a lot of time. Time is running out. So what we're gonna do, instead of doing our epic throw-ins, we're gonna do some even more epic. We're gonna throw in 50X entries for every order placed on GoonSquad.com in the next 12 hours, which that is not a lot of time either, guys, but we're gonna increase your chances of possibly taking this thing home plus 25k so be sure to check out gunsquad.com check out all the official rules and that might be you and look at this dude there is a airbrushed or hand painted kitty right there why are, my knees, why are my knees this high dang that's how it is what is up guys welcome back to the channel so today we got something brand new for you guys this is probably the most random most epic one of the most epic things we have ever purchased off of copart and this sucker we've been watching for weeks already and it finally played and we won it and it's literally on the way all the way from washington that's like a 24 hour drive it's about to arrive over here down south we're gonna place this sucker on the river and we're gonna shoot some rooster tails i'm just giving you guys some details of what it is and you'll probably see what it is by the thumbnail of this video but the main reason why we bought this sucker is because of the motor that's on it. It's got an absolutely insane supercharged motor, which we were pumped about that right there. But honestly, we did pay a hefty amount for it. So we don't know if we overpaid or underpaid, if we got a good deal or a bad deal, but it's just gonna come down to whether or not it's a good motor and if this sucker is fixable. But I think we can do something with it. But anyways, let's wait for the driver to get here. Let's figure out how to unload this sucker, drop it down right here and show you guys this brand new epic boat um i got a wrecked vehicle that's getting delivered on a flatbed trailer and i need a tow truck to back up to it and pull the car off and then put it on the ground now i'll, uh, I'll okay. pay Hi. what kind of vehicle is it it's a 2020 dodge charger or dodge challenger right all right it's gonna be 125. i don't know if he can make that turn over there he got all them light poles or them power line go ahead on that sir on head over there Look, David's ready to go. Look how excited he is. You are never, you never get this excited, dude. Should I go ahead and go? Go, go check it out. Yeah, go check it out. Oh, look at that thing. <laughs> that thing. Oh my God. Look how what? It dude, we got to, we got to get a crane out here, That's dude. That's what I'm thinking. That's wild. Wow. Dang, son. That's crazy. Look at that big old motor. Woo -wee. Look at that sucker. That looks like a UFO or something, dude. Oh, that thing is wild. Dang, son. It's shaped funny, too. It's shaped like a oh, UFO. You can fix it, man. Oh, that's, that's an easy fix right there. Is this a charger? Yeah. Oh, so we got, we, got, we got a little bonus right here that we didn't even talk about, so... So we'll let figure me, out. Let me call off that tow truck driver because I don't think we'll need him. Dude, whenever he came flying around the corner with the trailer, dude, I thought it was like an airplane or something, dude. <laughs> that thing is insane. Dude, look at that blower on it. That's a massive blower. You're getting chills, dude. <laughs> Speed. At least a thousand miles an hour. That, that right there would take you back in time with Marty and Doc. Is that thing boosted or is it just supercharger, dude? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how we're about to get this off because you got to load it up there and I don't know how heavy it is You know because that forklift can only pick up so much. Yeah, well, he's got blocks right here He said we could just slide out this bonus project out. We're not gonna say what it is just yet Oh, yeah, we can slide that sucker out first then we'll and then we'll it drop it down. All right. Yeah that's And then we'll take that we can even probably grab this from the side as well Maybe yeah, we where the motor is even grab it right here Dude, why is it shaped like that, dude? It's called a pickle fork. A pickle fork. Dude, I've never heard of anything like that, but I just know that it's made for speed. Made for speed, and these are super rare and kind of unique. They only made them, I think, for a few short years. So. Back in the 80s or something like 70s, that, right? I think. In the 70s? Yes. Dang, dude, this is about to be epic, dude. It's going to be crazy. This is going to be our fastest boat ever. Dude. 
the fastest boat in I the world. Think we'll, <laughs> honestly. Dude, that's going to be crazy. But right now, we're going to untarp this sucker right here. And we're not even going to talk about it. You know what I mean? We're going to talk about it once we take it off. When we first talk about the boat. You'll Let's do that. It. The boat is the, the, the first the main, project, the main event. That's the main event. This yeah. right here is a future event right here, dude. Yeah. Oh, snap. We got the red eye. That's all that matters. Right we there. only got this car for that badger right there. We need it dude, for that's our a, that's a diamond, dude. Wow. <laughs> it looks crazy. Overall. Dang. Is this a Challenger or a Charger? This, this is a Challenger. You can't even tell. I, I keep so forgetting destroyed. because it's so destroyed. Like, and we just bought it for, for it, one thing. For one thing, one thing only. Ooh, look at that. Dang, that's a fresh Dude. boy right there. Low miles, I think. Beautiful. So is the main thing cool? was uh, if the engine was good because this is some serious damage going on here. And I think she's healthy. I think she's healthy. A little bit bruised up, but nothing. You can't just flip over if you see a windshield wiper on the motor don't you, fix the car <laughs> yeah you already know it's, it's a no-go if you see the hood bent back like three times rolled up like if, a burrito if you see the bumper in the seat don't oh. buy it <laughs> if your car comes in with a strap right across the middle you know it ain't fixable <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm gonna be the operator today. Is that okay, Pops? Can I operate or you wanna operate? Ah, you, he yeah. thinks he's the best operator. He always gets upset whenever I operate. He's like, dude, honestly, I just there's something about like me and the controls. I just feel like I'm one with the with the machine, dude. Watch how quick I, I get into this thing, first off. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm gonna get this off. Barely pick it up and just start to drag it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to grab it, and just, and just slide it over. I'm just gonna tilt the forks up, and I'm just gonna try to drag it out. You guys are not even ready for this red eye right here. We got some insane plans, but also we got some insane plans for this boat. You ready to go up? <laughs> we need some wood. Will that roll? They says rolling. David, you stay right there. I'm gonna drop it down. You're gonna catch it. <laughs> All right. You get this one. If it falls. <laughs> Are you sure? Keep going. Whoa! Oh, that hole. Yeah, that hole is, is pretty heavy. Middle axle. Like. Yeah, let's let's switch over. Let's switch over operators too. No. Operator air. Okay. We're taking this thing straight to the lake. <laughs> he backed up your truck out of the way. I'll put it in the road. That way I don't yeah. have to go over this fence. See, I'd be able to go in there with, with Wait, ease. Why don't you just rotate? Just rotate the machine. He, he don't know that move he yet. He ain't forklift. I haven't oh, taught him that move yet. <laughs> Dang, son. Dude, the bottom of this thing is shaped so interesting. It's crazy, dude. I, I love it, man. I just want, I, let's put it on the ground because I'm sketched out right now. Yeah, it's like literally balancing right now. Yeah. But, oh my gosh, dude, the bottom is beautiful. This way, sir. Dang, professional four-wheeler operator right here. Yes, sir. Here, you want me to get on it? Here, let me get on it right quick. was in the water on it right that's what he just said he said that it probably fell off of a truck but the and, and yeah, i, I just the funky, uh, yeah man, and i just see i just seen this uh right here y'all see that right here it means it got hit right there and it hit this so no and all these busted so that that's a good that's some good news i don't care about the trailer because that so they, I was, yeah the engine's good I plugged that up. You see and he plugged good. that oh, thing up that. all Pretty the bugs straight, from yeah. driving what two thousand miles uh 2400 miles right here and all those bugs are gonna have to wash off so we got a good motor which 
That is some awesome news. I think we got a deal, dude. dude I, I think we got a deal. This motor alone. Look at the blower. Look at these. Oh my God. They took it off the NOS, though. Oh, they took the NOS off. We got we got some NOS in the, in the chop somewhere. Look at these gold plated. Uh, Don't talk about carburetor. Hey, get away from it. We need to pull it up in the garage, dude. Here. One more thing uh, before we pull it in. That's like six hundred, seven hundred horsepower. Look at this belt, dude. Look at the chrome. We're gonna oh polish this sucker out. Goodness. Yeah, I'm happy that it wasn't like flooded or flipped in the water because yeah, that thing would be toast. It, right it did say rollover on the auction, but I think the truck that was hauling it possibly rolled over. You know what I mean? Yeah. And this thing probably flew off the trailer. Was like flying on the yeah, highway. Yeah, definitely a hitch malfunction. Come look at this. For sure. I think it just popped off the hitch. What it is, is that? that? That's a I'm a 70 inch right there. We're gonna have to weld a new look, one that's on there. This trailer probably came with this boat right here. Look, custom made boat. custom boat trailer. So yeah, we'll have to fix this trailer up. Dude, Easy let's stuff. Let's sit that's in it right now. Uh, no, yeah, let's not sit in it. Let's figure Dude. it out. <laughs> let's back it in there. Look at us. Yeah, we're gonna back it up. You then, talking too much. Let's back I, it in there. I'm so <laughs> excited. Let's back it up. Look at the eyes, hey. bro. Oh, oh, don't talk about it. <laughs> why, are my, why are my knees this high? Dang, that's how it is. Hey, look. It says, get in, sit down, shut up, and hold on. Look, right. It's got a throttle pedal on it, dude. Hey, hold on, hold on. All right, hold take, on. let's take it in, dude. All right, so here she is, a 1978 Sanger boat right here, and this thing is a jet boat blown, man. Look at this engine right here. This is the thing that we've seen in the auction listing. We've seen this massive engine with a massive supercharger. Let's go over here. Look at the belt on this thing. Golly. My goodness. That right there is crazy, dude. So this is the main reason why we bought it. And I was like, dude, if we can get a good deal on this thing, this thing is an epic. And you were talking about rooster tails. This mechanism right here hopefully can shoot them up. I think some of them 100 foot up in the air, wow. which is just insane. Is that a Chevrolet jet drive or what's up dude, with that? That's a dude. Chevrolet. I think that's a Chevy big block or small block. Who knows? You guys are going to have to give us all the information. It'd probably be the owner on here watching. If you got information on this thing, what happened, pictures or anything, we'd love to see them. I mean, this thing is gonna get restored. I mean, 100%, it's a beauty, it's a work of art. I heard this brand right here is like a super like, uh, it's like old school brand right here. Pickle fork front end, that means you got these two like pickles on a fork. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a fork or something, dude. It's, it's crazy how this thing is shaped. It's like super skinny in the back right there. But I guess it's made for stability on the water, high right? High speeds, high, high speeds. speeds. This man. is crazy right here. I don't even know how fast this thing goes, dude. It could go up to 100 miles an hour. Who knows? This is the type of thing that I think you have to have helmets on. You know oh, what I mean? 100%, helmets dude. Helmets and mics. Be mic'd you up. You need a whole like body seat or something because your knees stick out right here. Dude, it's so crazy how you how you sit in there. You know let what me, I mean? Let me sit in there. Pop let in me, there and you'll, you'll see. Let me go ahead and sit in here. What? You're on top of the water, bro. But I guess this is an easy like visibility or something easy hop out if something goes south but dude this is crazy dude so i mean let's go ahead and start off on the inside let me hop in the driver's seat so this thing got a foot pedal right here dude you're we're over there what is that two carburetors on Dang. top of that so this thing foot? is not fuel injected it's carbureted. just carbureted which is cool too you know what i mean old school stuff boost retard <laughs> Bro, what? I think you could turn up the boost. That's, I guess, to tune it. You know, Zero, to want to how much power you want. That is crazy. I think that's like either or the boost or the yeah, timing. I or, think that's or, the boost gauge, or that's the boost. Like I don't know. Let us know if that bit boosts up the boost. That's what we want right there. This is crazy. So I think this is reverse. There ain't much room in this boat. So there's this is reverse right here. This, I think, is the rooster tail. Go back there and see if this picks up the rooster tail. Go ahead. It sure does. Wow. I guess it I guess it angles the pitch of the boat, right? Oh, dude, that right there, you pick it all the way up and you gas it, dude, you're gonna have a 100 foot rooster dude, tail. Dude, that's that insane. Thing. But dude, I love just this spoiler. Look at this spoiler on here, dude. dude a, a spoiler on a boat. That Man. is insane. That's crazy. Somebody actually built this thing tough. So that is all 
solid right there. Got solid mounts, got custom paint job on this whole entire thing. This thing's all custom. Like, look at these, dude. We're gonna have to shine this bad boy up. Got a cool supercharger. Dude, I've never even seen a supercharger that big in my life. I mean, that's huge, dude. dude. I wanna know what kind of power this sucker's putting down, dude. That will be a good question. I wonder, how do you even test? How do you dyno stuff like this? Do you engine dyno? Like, take the engine out or something like that? That's why I wish we can find the owner yeah that way he can give us some good like specs on this thing of course it looks like the battery is missing right there look at this little shut off is that for low, the fuel or something low medium high too oh, that's interesting dude and then you got fuel tanks right there and oh dude these, this side dude. dude these fuel tanks are sick i mean somebody really put in the time in this thing the interior is super nice engine is super beautiful all the connectors all like Everything. just every wire Look and at this hose straps on the suit like is this hold the supercharger if any, like if things go south it blows up does it hold that stuff Dude, down like, i've never seen that I, I mean it doesn't make sense to stabilize the motor it's just holding that supercharger guess, down yeah i guess so when you're on the water and uh, you've got pissing up north and pissing down south that doesn't go flying in the water you know <laughs> it, it holds everything together like but the carburetor. Dude, that looks man. like legit gold plated dude, right that there may or something. Be real dude. Gold. That's that looks like real gold plated, dude. That's crazy. You got wow. Summit Racing, Holly fuel pressure gauges and everything. I mean, I think there's more than Is like, this, this thing is probably, cammed out? Dude, that could be. Dude. Imagine if this thing is cammed out, dude. dude this would be the nastiest thing ever. I mean, I don't even care if it's not cammed out, because with these mufflers, know, right? you ain't even gonna hear the cam probably. Dude, that's crazy. Look at this pulley right here. Look at the oh size of that goodness. right there, dude. Dude, that's crazy, dude. That is insane. So we gotta go through everything. Before we crank this thing up, oil, fuel, clean everything out. I mean, just check everything. Clean these little puppies out right here. We're gonna try to crank it up today, aren't we? Dude, that'd be crazy. If we if everything seems good, throw a battery in this thing. We can possibly boost it up. Dude. Yeah, so uh, another thing that I was worried about when we were buying this thing, I was like thinking like, what if something froze on the inside of the motor? And you know how boats, you can't yes. have, you have to winterize them. This right here is actually a jet drive, so it can't really freeze on the inside of it, can Technically, it? Technically, it cannot, but we don't know nothing about these engines right here. I mean, it could have something frozen, but you can tell somebody unhooked some fuel lines right here. So maybe they drained some stuff out of the engine before it sat. Hopefully the owner, the previous owner, before he took it to the auction, kind of like went over everything. But usually jet drive, you gas it or you pull it out of the water, everything kind of leaks out for the most part. So we don't know that just yet, but like, what is this thing? Got a canister right here. What? Oh, this is a fuel oil catch can, I think. I'm, really dude that's wild right there dude, dude there's so much for us to learn about this right here that's why we actually bought this because we want to learn about this stuff this stuff's new you know we love stuff. we love doing new stuff we love learning new things so this is a whole new learning curve right here which is going to be fun i mean it looks insane it's probably going to be insane once it's all said and done the engine running and everything so that that's just incredible i hope you guys are excited about this thing as much as we are because this thing is crazy i mean I already was like looking throughout this whole entire thing. There's like even another like canister right Ooh. there. Like what is On that? Dude? Earth, dude. Dude, like you got a chromed out um, alternator. You got a big old like a gauge oil of pressure. pressure? It's probably Look, oil it's pressure. Hold, holding pressure right there and on that side. So you got two heads pressure. So you can even look at your pressure when you're running this thing. So that is just incredible, dude. Like right off the rat, dude. Look, it says river rat right there. That's why I said right <laughs> off the rat. Right man. off the rat, dude. That's crazy right there. But I think it's time to wash this thing up, dude. Clean got, it. Got to have a clean wash.
Guys, this sucker right here absolutely cleaned up. Somebody had this sucker in their garage and they were just spit washing it, you know what I mean? Or just spit shining it. Elbow whatever. greasing it every elbow day. Elbow greasing it and look at this, dude. There is a airbrushed or hand painted kitty right there. I guess that's why they called it the purr. What is it called? Snicket, snickety, snickety. Snickety. I have no idea, but that right oh there God. is awesome. If we can save that, dude, that'd be awesome. We're dude. definitely saving that. That reminds me of Thomas the Hellcat. Thomas is at parents' house. I don't know where he's been. We haven't seen him in a long time, but this is in memory of Thomas, I guess. Maybe dude. this is going to be called Thomas. We got to rename this thing. We're <laughs> definitely going to get rid of that. I think that's like a rock band or something. Yeah, and it's already super old and it's coming apart and stuff like that. So we need to just, we'll probably get get that rid, you know, but we got to save that right there. Dude, definitely, sure. dude. That right there is too cool right there, but I mean, it's cleaning up real nice. We're going to probably go ahead and move on to cleaning up this motor right here and also these fuel tanks on the side. We're just going to try to get it as cleaned as best as possible. We're not going to do nothing too crazy right now. Until, this is just for now. For you know? now, yeah. You know what I mean? Just to show you guys what, what kind of potential this thing has. So let's keep cleaning. Let's try to get all this uh, gunk off this motor right here and see how it shines up. So we got this motor cleaned up as best as we can. Of course, it's not 100%. It has like a bunch of oxidation just from it sitting outside and stuff like that. But for the most part, I mean, this is like super intricate. It's our first pretty much carbureted car motor that we ever mess with, but this is on a boat right here. So it's all new to us. We're still trying to figure out. There's like unplugged stuff. There's like stuff that's not even screwed together. There's like different like, like valves and all sorts of different things that we, it's new to us. So we were trying to figure this thing out. We're probably gonna have to do some research. We're gonna have to probably change the oil in this thing. Maybe change the fuel in here. Maybe pump this fuel out, put some new fuel. Does this take 93 or did this take race fuel race fuel like yeah. what kind of fuel like we don't know nothing even there's a switch right here that has lmh so low medium high i'm guessing right there so what is that for you know what i mean like is that fuel pressure you got low fuel pressure high fuel pressure just all just crazy fun stuff to figure out honestly dude 100 percent, dude but it's just beautiful i love how this sucker just cleaned up i love all these fittings right here it just makes that motor look super crazy man i can't wait to dude, fire this thing up and that the, wing, the wing dude man, this ain't just a normal wing right here this is like aircraft style wing look at that riveted aluminum this thing is solid right here look at all the like little brackets and like all these braces dude, dude are that's, like stout that's dude. like professionally made like i think this what, what if this was an actual just drag boat like somebody was using for drag racing jet boats you know what Dang, i mean i mean i wouldn't doubt it for one second because i mean it looks like i mean i wonder what kind of power this thing is making like i'm getting like somewhere around a thousand man ha, that'd be crazy that if, would it's, be if crazy. it's a thousand horsepower that's be, that would be insane i mean it's got to come down to it if we find the previous owner or not because if we can we'll know everything about this 100 i mean there's so much just custom work done to it so it's going to be impossible for us to know that just by looking at it you yeah. know what i mean even yeah. look at this dude i noticed this i thought this was a decal but this right here is like hand painted gold flakes paint dude Dude, that's like the they use like gold leaf i think on there dude that is crazy what? so that is all hand painted even the cat even this pinstripe even this i thought this was a sticker that's all hand painted right there dude Ooh, dude that's pretty wild dude this is crazy honestly dude i think we got a steal on this boat but I think the, the, what's going to determine if we got a steal is if that motor is good. If you know that what motor I mean? is good, if it runs, nothing, no issues at all, that's going to determine it. But if it's not good, I don't think it'll be that hard to get it rebuilt. You know what I mean? Yeah, that looks like some. That looks like a Chevy big block. Just Small by block, just big guess. Block. Just pull that thing out. It'll be super easy to pull it apart and get it rebuilt if we have to. And as for this front end damage, guys, after doing a little bit of investigating, of course, it looks like it just disattached from a trailer hitch and it looks like it went underneath the back of a truck or whatever was hauling it and the hitch went clean down the middle right there and then the these uh tips right here pretty much just backed into whatever was there like the back of the vehicle and it left some pretty nasty fiberglass damage right here 
which honestly fiberglass work it is pretty filthy but you know what it can be fixed this right here is not too scary i think we're going to attempt to get this done ourselves i think you just fill it with foam shave it down and then you just apply that fiberglass hair and the resin and i think we can fix this no problem at all so that's going to be pretty fun to tackle this is a big fiberglass job are we going to do it ourselves oh easily man i'll knock this thing out with ease i mean fiberglass yeah. is easy to work with we want to get this sucker on the water asap so we're going to be excited doing this fiberglass work right here and underneath dude it looks perfect, which that's yeah. really good. Dude, that's gonna be slick. Dude, it's gonna be just slicing through the water, man. That's insane. But you know what, guys? We're gonna save this probably for the next video where we start trying to get this sucker started. And also, we're gonna start working on this stuff right here. This is gonna be insane. But let's just show you guys what we're gonna do with this Hellcat over here, dude. So we're actually not gonna tell you guys what this is supposed to be or too much what we're doing, but just a hint, we just needed this thing for the powertrain, the engine, the transmission, and like wiring and all that good stuff. And we're thinking about just a regular Hellcat motor, but we found a steal of a deal on a red eye. So a little bit more horsepower, and it's gonna be a little bit more better for what we're gonna do. We're super excited about that, but you'll see that in the future. But guys, that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. We were hoping to have, or I was hoping to have this sucker started in this video but you know what didn't work out we're definitely gonna have to do a lot more research and also gonna have to probably order a few more things before we attempt to fire that sucker up and also we're gonna start ordering stuff to get that fiberglass fixed this is gonna be an insane project so definitely drop all your comments and thoughts down below thank you guys so much for all the love and support we'll catch you guys next time peace